Okay, welcome back. And uh, today we're going to uh, go over section three, and this covers uh, measurements of dispersion uh, or what we call variation. So that's just a technical term that basically measuring how spread out is the data around uh, the center of the data set. Okay, so measurements of variation or measurements of dispersion is what we're going to talk about. So there's only two things we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about the range and the standard deviation of a data set. Um, the range is a very crude method. Uh, again, just like the mid-range is in the last section, the range of the data set is, is very sensitive to outliers or extreme values because it uses the minimum and maximum values of the data set. And then we're also going to talk about how to determine the standard deviation, which is the most common measurement of dispersion that is used uh, in statistics. Okay, so now, very easy. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. The range of a data set is the highest value minus the lowest value, max minus min. That easy, period. Nothing else to say about it, okay? So here we have the figure shows the age of the oldest U.S. presidents and the start uh, <clears throat> at the start of their first term. So we want to find the range of the, of the four, so oldest presidents. So here we go. We have Trump, Reagan, Harrison, and Buchanan. So at the beginning of their uh, term, when they first took office, here are their ages. So what's the range of their ages? Well, it'll just be 70 minus 65, which is five years. Okay, that's it. That's it. Okay, now, what about standard deviation? Now, standard deviation is tells you how far is a typical value from the mean. So in order to tell that, we need to first know what the mean is. So it is, it is important, it's, it's necessary that we calculate the mean first because the mean is used in the calculation of the standard deviation. So we need to first find the mean of a data set. So if we take the standard deviation, or if we take the mean of, these, of the, old, the four oldest presidents when they first took old, uh, office, we have this. So we find the average, and the average is 68. And then the next step is we're going to use that to find the deviation. The deviation means how far is the, a typical, not a typical, but a particular value from the mean. Well, to find the deviation, we just subtract the mean from each one of the data sets, or of each of the observations, the observed numbers. So in this case here, we're going to subtract 68 from 70. We're going to subtract it from 69. Subtract it from 68 and subtract 68 from 65. And so that's where the deviations come from. So this deviation is 2, this deviation is 1, 0, and then negative 3. Now it's negative because it falls below the mean. These are positive because they fall above the mean. And then this is 0 because it is equal to the mean. So positive, you can have positive deviations and you can have negative deviations. Okay. Now, if you add up all of these deviations, what do they add up to? Notice that these add up to zero. And that's always a good check to do. If you did this correctly, your deviations should always add up very close to zero. It may not be exactly equal to zero, like in this case, because of round off error and decimals and stuff, but it should be very close to zero. Okay? If it's far from zero, either negative or positive, then you did something wrong and you need to go back. Okay, either you made a subtraction error or you or you calculated um, something wrong. It's usually going to be a, a subtraction error here. Okay, uh, because if you even if you did this incorrectly, you're still subtracting the same amount uh, from each one. Well, actually, no, no, that's not the case. You could have made a mistake here, and then that would also affect uh, this as well. So you either made a, a subtraction error or you made a calculation error up here. But anyway, um, these are the deviations. Now, what, what are we going to do then? Well, then what we're going to do is we're going to square those deviations. Okay? So step one and two we just did. Okay? And then step three is we're then going to square the deviation. So we're going to take each one of those deviations that we calculated in step two, and we're going to square them. Then in step four is we're going to take all of those squared deviations, and we're going to add them up. That's where the summation comes in. And then once we sum all of those squared deviations up, 
Then we're going to divide by the sample size minus 1. And then finally, once we do that, we take the square root of it. And that gives us the standard deviation. So there's a lot of steps in here, but if you use the table, you will always get the correct answer. Okay. So let's use this one. So here's the we're going to find the standard deviation for the, the four presidents, the ages of the four presidents. So we got steps one and two that we did. So now what we're going to do is if you use the table and you build the formula, you'll always get the correct answer. So here's our deviations. So then we're going to add another column where now we're going to take all of these numbers here. And so notice how we sum these up in A equals zero. That's good. So notice now in this column here, we're going to square these. So 2 squared gives us 4, 1 squared gives us 1, 0 squared gives us 0, and 3 squared, negative 3 squared gives us positive 9. Notice that you always get positive numbers. And so now, now all we have to do is add these up. And so you get 14. And so now all you have to do is then now divide by what? The sample size. Well, what's the sample size? Well, we've got four ages, so the sample size is four. And so now you're going to divide by four minus one, so the sample size minus one is three. And so now 14 divided by three is 4.67. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this number and take the square root of it, and that's going to be the standard deviation. And by the way, this is the formula for standard deviation that you just built using the table. And so the standard deviation for the ages is 2.16. So basically it tells you, hey, how far is a typical value from the mean? So if you have, let's say, the average, right? Let's say the average uh, age is, um, let's say you're at one standard deviation above the mean. So if you're one standard deviation above the mean, that means you're 2.16 years above the average age. Okay. Okay. Okay, and that's really all there is to it. So we're going to do a lot of practice with this in class. So please do the suggested homeworks. Do the other examples that are in the textbook. Do some of the exercises at the end of the section and practice these. Practice calculating these. Uh, we're going to do practice as much as we can in class, but remember, practice makes improvement. Okay? And that's the best way to do these formulas because you're going to have to know these formulas for the exam or quiz. Okay? So again, practice. So if you bring your questions. Uh, email me, bring them in the class. Uh, if you want me to go over anything in class, email me. Uh, if you get stuck on something, let me know. We'll go over it in class. We'll work on these together. Okay. Anyway, if you have any questions, ask. Until then, have a great day.